Hello, uh, this will be my first attempt uh, on a recipe uh, uh, we called silke herring and actually it's pickled herring and uh, it's uh, traditionally uh, an appetizer along with kuchos, a Christmas Eve dinner and uh, like I said it's from memory so I'll try to do it uh, as best I can. First of all I buy this Vita uh, herring in wine sauce. I get this at one of these club stores. Uh, that's about a two pound bottle and uh, it includes uh, uh, onion inside. I, t I drain the onion and leave it in the bottle and I uh, take the herring out and I split it in half or thirds depending upon morsel size and then I use uh, also uh, ketchup as if it's part of the mixture a uh, nice sharp knife. I I slice and dice the uh, the onion, and then on the stove I caramelize the onion with a little bit of canola oil, and uh, until it's nice and brown. I didn't get to the brown part. I burnt a little bit of it. Then I place uh, the herring in another bowl, a larger bowl, and I put in a dash of ketchup and then I will uh, mix the ketchup and the herring and uh, I will taste it, uh, get it to taste and color and as soon as the onion cools I'll put the caramelized onion in this uh, bowl and mix it all up. So now I've uh, put in the uh, onion and I'm mixing it all up into a nice little uh, mixture <laughs> and I'm going to add some more uh, ketchup to give it a livelier color and uh, and taste it to see if it meets my taste test. I found that one onion wasn't enough. Remember, I'm going from memory. So now I cut a second onion. I diced it and then I split it in half so that uh, I wanted you to see what that looks like. And then we're going to caramelize it, a second onion. Okay, so now we're caramelizing the second onion and you stir as you go along. It's kind of hard to do holding a camera in one hand and then stirring it with the left hand. I'm right-handed, but anyway. So we'll wait and we're doing this on medium heat, stirring as, as we go along until it turns a yellowish color, which will signify that it's ready to be mixed in with the silke and the ketchup. So I caramelized the second onion and I want to let you see what it looks like. Hopefully this is in the yellowish area. You don't want to have a raw onion. You just want to caramelize it so it turns a little bit yellow. Now I'm going to put them, in the, uh, put them aside and let them cool a little. Now meanwhile we're waiting for the uh, onions to cool. I want to show you uh, a little recipe that we were going to make but we ran out of time and Janice went ahead and made it while I was asleep last night. But this, it's, it, this is vinaigrettes. It consists of, uh, e easy recipe would be one can of beans, one can of wax beans, a can of B&M baked beans, beets, and dill pickles, onions, sour cream, and mayonnaise. And what you do is you take the green beans and wax beans and you cut them in thirds. The beets you dice in small pieces and the baked beans you just make in, mix in the entire recipe. Add dill pickle to taste. I cut up and dice onions also to taste. Put in some sour cream so you would have some texture so it wouldn't be dry and maybe a spoonful of mayonnaise. You can double this recipe if you have a larger family and in this case uh, Janice doubled it for the entire family for Christmas Eve. Now the onions, uh, the caramelized onions cooled and I'm mixing them in with the rest of the sinka and the ketchup. So now we stirred in the caramelized onion, stirred up the sinka and the, and the ketchup, Heinz ketchup we use. And now we'll put a small portion on the plate. A little more. And this will be 
a nice little appetizer, the silke and the vinaigrettes. Bon appetit. Enjoy. I hope you have a, as much luck as I enjoyed making it and eating it. Thank you very much.